Chris, you knew they were going to come out desperate. Um, did you feel like the team they had a hard time matching that intensity out there? I them? mean, not, you know, I thought we did a good job in the first quarter, of course. You know, I thought the first quarter was a really weird one for particularly the first five or six minutes. But, you know, I would like where we were at the end of it. Um, you know, and our offense just dried up. A shot selection in the second quarter basically started the avalanche of them getting out. And they, they, they beat us up on the glass a little bit in the second quarter, too. And that's really where the game was won. The lack of ball movement was that a, yeah. a, a big thing? Just seems like a lot of one shot in and yeah. done possessions. Just, yeah, they, you know, all credit to them. They did a great job playing good defense, sitting down and guarding us. Um, you know, we had a hard time driving them. Um, but yeah, there was no ball movement, really super sticky. Everybody's, you know, seemed to try to want to go uh, and solve all, all the problems all by themselves. Um, you know, which we haven't, we haven't really done that for a long, long time, you know. So, um, but you know, we'll, we'll look at it. And uh, we, we just, I thought there were, lots of passes out there to be made i just uh, thought we didn't see him or we didn't want to see him carl got in foul trouble again is that yeah. just a, a killer for you guys when, when i mean sure there? you know you got to have your best players on the floor um you know and uh yeah it was it was uh you know the offensive foul um on the on the three is just you know it's on it's, on, yeah, it's, it's unnecessary at that point in time so really really uh really put us in a tough spot but you know here, do you feel pretty good with just getting one game and being able to go back home this well, way? Sure. Or I mean, you know, we're trying to win a series here, so we want to get as many games as we possibly can. I don't care where they come from, but um, you know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be better. Um, you know, obviously, this team came out and uh, wanted it more tonight, and we gotta, we gotta turn the table on Thursday, I guess. Adams only played three minutes for them. Yeah. Uh, Jenkins went deep into their bench, uh, kind of changed up his rotations. Uh, well, how did that affect maybe what they were doing on, on both I ends? Mean, of the I, floor? You know, I don't know. That's a question for him. Like, I don't, I would be surprised if that was premeditated. I mean, she, uh, Jackson gets in foul trouble right after. So he probably kind of lucked onto something there with uh, Tillman and his energy. So. With D'Lo, I think he's five for 22 or something like that in the first two games. He, yeah. he mentioned earlier today that they've been heavily denying him the ball. Has it been hard for him to, to get going just to even get the ball at, at times, do you think? Um, you know, I got I to gotta look at it tonight. I thought, you know, I thought he had some good looks that he he, mm-hmm. he didn't let fly or, uh, you know, in, on the catch or he's, he's going to have to play off the catch a little bit more, um, you know. And hey, you know they're going to get into you. They're going to make it uncomfortable. What, no matter whether they deny you or get it and pressure you, uh, you know we got to find a way to get them some some easy looks. You know, Carl, you you mentioned that the kickout being kind of unnecessary at that point in time. Are you able to have that conversation with him? Sure. Maybe afterwards, and yeah, just sure. have, have that open dialogue with him. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. He's he's very uh, open talking about. That. He knows that. So. You said the passes were there. Did you think that there was good movement off the ball? Uh, good movement? Off, no, not the, not the best. But uh, I do think that they're, you know, they were heavy in the gaps. I thought there was opportunities for us to get off of it, maybe move it twice in a row before we did something with it. But it was a lot of, a lot of holding. Ball was super sticky. And do you think a lot of those, the shots seem to be a lot more tentative than they were less decisive with your offense when you did shoot a seam? Um. Well, you know, I mean, early on, I thought the shots, you know, uh, I thought we were getting some good looks. We just didn't make them in the second quarter. And then, you know, then uh, then maybe we got a little bit a little bit tentative. But I give you a deja vu of the offense from like the first 20 games of the season. Yeah, a little bit at times. Yeah. So just looking for more scoring options with Vando only playing eight minutes tonight. Yeah. I mean, we just, you know, they uh, yeah, we're just trying to change the complexion of the floor a little bit. You know, Jackson was just standing in there the whole time. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, once we got down early to start the to third, I just thought that, you know, maybe we needed to uh, have some more shooting out there to try to get back into it. So it was one of those high risk, high reward moves. It seemed like they're switching stunt to the offense a little bit in game one at times, too, when they first went to it. it, it what can your guys do better um, to generate easy looks out of that? Yeah, we got to play with early ball movement and play off the catch, you know, play with play with some more force. You know, I don't think we play with enough force tonight. So if they are loading up on Ant in that sort of way, how would you like to see Ant individually in your group counter that? Yeah, just, I mean, just get off of it earlier. You know, they're going to put two on you. It doesn't matter if it's pick and roll or in a gap. You know, then you've done your job. Just move it on to the next guy. I thought those opportunities were there all night long. So Just sort of decisiveness? Is- yeah, I mean, you know, he's, he's got to learn that every game is going to be different. 
you know, you're not going to come out and play the same game every time. That's, that's part of the, that's part of the learning curve here. So, um, yeah. I mentioned before the series, don't get too high. Don't get too low with the, you know, kind of the ebbs and flows of, of a playoff series kind of yeah. how, where do you, where do you leave here? Uh, how, or how do you leave here just in terms of your mindset uh, going forward? Yeah, it's one, one in the series, one, one, it's series it's game on everything there to play for. We're going home. We got two at home um, and a lot of work to figure out. You know. Another game where Jaw got into the paint with quite a bit of ease. Do you look at changing things up there? Um, and well, just in terms I mean, of it people? wasn't supposed to be that way. Yeah. Right. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Just we, we were on our heels all night long, you know, on both sides of the ball. So I uh, didn't really like that about ourselves. But, you know, we'll yeah, for sure. We'll look at whatever adjustments we need to make right now. Any idea why that was tonight? No, you know, it's just again, you know, young teams going through it. I mean, you know, they uh, they just experienced their first playoff win. You got to learn how to handle these things like you got to learn how to handle everything else. You know, any sense? Could you sense at all at any of this that like? satisfied with one no i didn't sense that we were satisfied with one no no i felt that we were ready um you know i thought you know again i just i, I thought uh, our offense really let us down not just because we only scored 17 it was just our shot selection i, I felt good at halftime I thought halftime came at the right time we could regroup a little bit um you know but uh we let it slip again so then it became hard chris obviously uh, Nas's minutes are, are up due to, due to Carl's foul trouble, but what yeah. did you see from him in an extended run tonight? Yeah, he's got to be better, man. Just hasn't been very good in those two games, but he's got to rebound for us better. Um, makes a lot of like little mistakes and little little turnovers and little little plays that are that are a little bit too def- too, too deflating. And just he's got to be a little bit better for us right now. We really need him. Uh, Chris, did, do you, do you think the way that the first quarter went was it hard to just find a flow yeah. just because of Hundred parade to the line and all that. Really, really weird start, you know. And I kept telling our guys that you know finding a rhythm offensively was what was key. So, um, but you know they pushed the lead out. We came right back a couple times. I, you know, I wasn't really worried about that. So, uh, but yeah, and it was just never set, the game never really settled into a flow uh, for us, you know. Um, and, and and early on, it was more of the game rhythm. There's a lot of fouls, a lot of you know, reviews and all kinds of crap. So, you know, I know it ultimately comes down to his decision-making, especially at key times when he knows how many fouls he has on him, but is there any way to kind of tweak things to prevent cat from picking up fouls when they you know start running the smaller, more mobile guys at him? Well, I mean, just let's, so let's see. So his first foul, he reached in on Morant. Uh, his, I don't remember his second foul. Do you? His third foul was a kick out. You know, um, I don't know. It's you know, just got to play a cleaner game. You know, I, I don't know what it is. You know, what we can certainly try to tweak things as the, as foul trouble unfolds, but just we just got to play a cleaner game. You know, we had our hands in way too much. You know, 